Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is really just tips for starting tomatoes indoors. Today is January 28th. The tomatoes here, here, and right in here were all started around January 7th. So it's been three weeks since the seeds went into the seed starting mix. Not since germination, but since I put them in the seed starting mix. So I'm gonna to talk to you about trimming them or thinning them out in the cells, a little bit about growth, when to get them started, coloration, what's normal, and feeding. And this should help you out. So a couple things to keep in mind. These are tiny Tim tomatoes. They're dwarf tomatoes. The tomatoes right here are cherry tomatoes started within a day of each other and the tomatoes right here are Bonnie's Best. They're kind of like a baseball sized tomato. You can see that they're different sizes. Dwarf tomatoes are going to stay smaller. They're going to look smaller. Cherry tomatoes tend to take off. They get bigger and then your standard baseball size bigger tomatoes grow a little bit slower than the cherry tomatoes and that's just important to keep in mind that as you see them germinating they're going to have different growth rates. So don't over worry about that because different varieties grow at different speeds. So these are cherry tomatoes. I'm sorry, these are my dwarf tomatoes. I'm actually going to be growing these inside. And once your tomatoes get true leaves, let me bring this up here. These are true leaves. I'll show you some more examples. You're going to want to thin these down to just one plant. I cut them off at the surface. If you, you can pull them out, but if you pull them out, there's a chance you're pulling out roots from the plant that you want to keep in there. In here, there's a lot of them. You could thin these out if you want. You know, the bottom line is you can't save every seedling, sadly. Maybe I'll keep two in there just for an experiment. And then this is what they're thinned down to. So two in here, one, 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 and one. And you can see another one is popping up. And there's even a smaller one right there. So your seeds may germinate at different rates of the same variety. So these are thinned down. I'm going to be growing these indoors. These are tiny Tim tomatoes. These are put into the starting mix on the 7th. Today is the 28th. And this is what they would look like, nice and green undersides of the leaves, it's going to be hard to see, are green. Let's go over to the cherry tomatoes. Sometimes when you're growing, you're going to have tomato plants that have very purple stems. And when you look on the undersides of the leaves, they're going to be very purple. That's perfectly normal. Now here's the problem. If you over fertilize, sometimes your plants will turn this way. I am not over fertilizing, so I know these plants are getting the right nutrients. The purpling on the stem, on the undersides, a little bit on the leaf, that's perfectly normal. We'll talk about fertilizing too. So these are the Bonnie Best seedlings that I cut and you can see the nice dark purple color, perfectly normal. You can thin by cutting and removing or you can thin by teasing the tomato seedlings apart gently pulling the roots away from each other and then transplanting them up. I just don't need to do that. So to save some time, you know, I thin those down to one plant. That's the true leaf right there. That's what you're looking for at the time of, you know, cutting these or thinning these by separating them. The whole idea is to get six or eight weeks worth of growth for your tomato plants so that you have really nice transplants. You want to get these out into the garden before they start the flower and fruit. Holding these in 10, 12, 14 weeks doesn't make for a better transplant. You want these to get started. These are three weeks old from seed going into the starting mix. That's a good size. You could actually transplant them just like this. So another three weeks, they're gonna be beautiful. They're gonna be ready to go out. That's that six week period from putting the seed in the starting mix. Another two weeks would give me eight weeks. These are perfect. Now you want these to go into your soil when there's no frost coming. The frost date has passed and the soil is at least 50 degrees temperature. These will really take off and grow well in your garden. That's all you want for transplants. 
These will probably have to be potted up. If I pop, if I pop this out now, let's see. You can see how nice the root system is. Not overcrowded, but in another week, two weeks, the roots are going to start coiling down here, and that's when you would want to seed them up into a bigger pot. If you have plenty of room, let's see. You can grow them in these bigger cells. I sell these at my seed shop, I always say that. You can start these in um, yogurt cups. This plant, these tomato plants, will be able to stay in something this size for that whole six or eight week process. So about three weeks after putting the seeds into the starting mix, assuming that these um, germinate within five to seven days, you're going to thin your tomato plants down to a single plant. And you may do that by cutting like I did, or you can tease the transplants apart and repot them. So it's three weeks from putting the seed into the starting mix, or about two weeks after they germinate. You know, you want something like this size. You get the idea. These are really nice true leaves. You can wait a little bit longer if you're not sure, but you definitely want to get to a single plant in something this size. So fertilizing seed starts is extremely different than fertilizing out side, out in your garden, out in your containers. There's no rain, there's not really a whole lot of soil life. The ecosystem, so to speak, in the soil microbiology is completely different. If you use full strength fertilizers, how they say to use them outside, you're going to eventually put too much fertilizer in here and your plants are going to change. They may start to look yellow, they may start to look purple, they may not grow, they may die off because you put in too much fertilizer. The fertilizer gets wicked up. I always bottom water, so I also bottom fertilize. The water gets wicked up into here and excess fertilizer concentrates it in your, your starting mix. It's just really important that you go super low. So what do I mean by that? So after two weeks, 10 to 14 days from germination, I simply pick up, you know, when the starting mix looks like it needs to be water, pick up the cell, I pour in the water with a little bit of water soluble fertilizer in there. Now, I can't tell you exactly how much because your, your fertilizers are going to vary, but let's just go for example. If it were to be one tablespoon of fish emulsion, organic fertilizer, in one gallon of water, it's typically like a 5-1-1 or a 3-2-3 three, three fertilizer. I would go at half strength or quarter strength. Really try and knock those numbers down low. So when the soil dries on the top, that, that's starting to dry, I would just put in the water soluble fertilizer in the watering water with the water soluble fertilizer. Plants look great. Do that about every seven to 10 days. Keep an eye on it. If your plants start to look a little bit stunted or a little bit yellow, you know that you're putting in low amounts of fertilizer. If they're looking green and healthy like this, you don't need to increase it, but you could increase the rate to twice a week or sorry, twice every 10 to 14 days if you feel like your plants are suffering. But by going with a slow and low feeding, you know that you're not overdoing it. If you're going to use the chemical type fertilizers like miracle Grow, I know people, some people don't like miracle Grow. The chemical fertilizers are all the same. They're about a 24, 10, 15 NP and K, one tablespoon per gallon of water, a pinch, like just take, let's see if I can do this. Seriously, like a pinch of the organic, I'm sorry, of the chemical fertilizers in a gallon of water, maybe two, swirl it around. That's how I water with the chemical type fertilizers. I sometimes say half a dose, quarter of a dose, that's fine, but I have found over time less fertilizer is better for your seed starts. So just a quick recap with the coloring. If your tomatoes, and this is what I really wanted to stress because this really worries people, if your tomatoes are looking purple on the stem, purple on the undersides, slight purpling maybe on the leaves, your tomato plants are perfectly fine if you've been feeding them with a slow and steady water soluble fertilizer. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. Hope this gives you some idea of where your tomato plants would be at week three of, you know, growing under the grow lights. Don't panic. Keep your plants at about 65 degrees Fahrenheit under the starting lights. Take care of them and you'll get beautiful transplants for your garden. 
Thanks for watching, and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.